Coach, I can remember earlier in the year, you said that Wisconsin was going to be a really good team and maybe a great team if, in fact, they can throw the ball. I think we both agree that someone was going to stop Jonathan Taylor. Maybe the average fan didn't believe that, but you and I believed it. Michigan State stopped them basically 26 carries, 80 yards. So the question was Saturday, can Wisconsin throw the ball against Michigan State? A big yes, scheme-wise, and the quarterback, Jack Cohen, really came through. Let's take a look here, look at their throw game. So the first one is the ability to just free access. So you can tell Michigan State's all pounded in there to stop the run. Obviously, this is very easy pitch and catch, but this can't be a 5 out of 10. This has to be 10 out of 10. It's called a free access throw. 10 out of 10, move the chains, keep them off you a little bit. The next one is a third down. Here's Seif. I love this Seif, this kid, a big, tall, good-looking uh, athlete that's having a great year for Wisconsin. It's bump and run. It's much different than the throw we just saw. This is a challenge throw. He bodies the corner because he's a big dude. Great ball placement. This is a challenge throw on third down. Good throwing teams have to be able to do this. Coach, not only did they pass the ball well, but this is fourth and five. This is a critical situation. I love it. This is two old ball coaches here <laughs> hanging out now. Where do you see this? Okay, once again, Jerry, this is, this is not passing one-on-one. -on -one. This is graduate level stuff. <laughs> so you can see the short motion. They're doing it for two reasons. Number one, identifying man and zone. They bump. It's easily to see it's man coverage. The quarterback already knows he's going to work the three-man side. A.J. Taylor does an excellent job because he's well coached. Notice he comes back not quite as far as he did before he went in motion. Right. And that's because he wants to get leverage on the defender. So he does a great job here, gets leverage. Cole, look at the timing. Timing and ball placement. By the time the back foot hit, this is excellent, man. This is when you know Wisconsin's got a good team. No doubt. Watch your right foot hit and the ball's out. Right. You can't defend this. This is really well done. So this is the same exact play as you saw before. As you can tell, I love this stuff. So they, once again, for the viewer, they sent the receiver in short motion. What's the difference? It's zone coverage. It's not matchup coverage. Right. So the quarterback knows he's off of that side. He's on this side now. Watch the tight end. Once again, run a corner route. Cone does an excellent job. He's actually leaning. This, this, is, this is beautiful, Jerry. Watch Cone. See his eyes looking left? Right. People say, why is he looking left? He's going to try to tug this safety right here out of the way. So he did enough to pull the safety. Keep him on the hash. Tight end runs a nice route, and he's simply reading the corner. So right. number 19 here for Michigan State delivers a great pass, and they're executing at a high level. Right. Well, Jerry, you just saw two very highly executed plays. Let's go to the board and show the viewers what the quarterback was looking at. So, Coach, these are the two plays we just watched. This is play number one against man coverage when they throw the ball to A.J. Taylor. This is zone coverage where they throw the ball to Jake Ferguson. Take us through it. Still getting used to these fluorescent colors. Nice, right? They, Grad had school. This, they had this back in Notre Dame when you played <laughs> yeah, right. like chalk and erasers. All right, here you go. This is fourth down and five, and it's much easier than I even thought after rewatching it on film. This is straight man, and you can see that the corners are over, and that's all about matchups. The corners, they obviously, defense corners want corners covering receivers, linebackers, and safeties covering tight ends and tailbacks. Over here, this is zone coverage. And you can see now it's not three corners. Here you have three corners over right. for the three receivers. In this look, the corners are split. So the quarterback knows that this is very simple. This is going to be zone coverage. Let's go through the quarterback rules. In man coverage, this picture, he's identified it, corners over. This is clearly man coverage. He's going to work this side of the formation. It's going to be H to Z to X. That's called a quarterback's progression. Okay, I'll go to the zone coverage here in a second. They send the Z, A.J. Taylor, in short motion, right. and the corner starts to follow him. He comes back. He does a good job, as we showed on video. He sets up a little bit tighter than he was, because now the corner is going to be on outside. Right. The H just simply runs a drag route. He'll be the first look in the progression. A quarterback's going to look here first. As this corner drives with him, which he did, then he's going to look back at the Z. The Z is going to run a leverage slant. And the quarterback goes from one to two, and then out here, the X is going to run the hitch, okay? okay? The quarterback looks here. This guy's covered by the corner. We have leverage on number two. Crone does an excellent job and fires that thing under on his third step, and they hit a fourth and five completion against man coverage. Okay, let's go zone coverage, okay? This is very obviously zone coverage. The tight end's going to run a corner out. Jake Ferguson, you're going to run a swing route with a tailback. Receivers are still doing the same route. A drag, 
a slant, and a hitch. Okay, the quarterback, let's go to zone coverage. Zone quarterback, zone coverage, quarterback rules. Y to T is a progression. Here's the Y. The y is that's going to be number one. The tailback is going to be number two. He's simply going to move or work off the movement key. That's the corner. So the quarterback, and this is, I really want you to watch this. As he drops back, this is where you can really, really start to watch, say, is this quarterback any good? Is this scheme any good? The quarterback's eyes, if you remember, were down the I middle do, of the field. Right, I do remember. That held that safety. Right. Excellent by uh, our quarterback here, Crone. And then he went back here, and he found the corner. The corner started getting a whiff, and he shot the ball in there for a big hit against zone coverage. Man coverage, zone coverage, very good pass offense. Wisconsin's always going to be good. As long as Barry Alvarez, Paul Christ are running the show, their culture, their players, what's the difference between good and great? A good team is one-dimensional. A great team has potential to be two-dimensional. And as the schedule progresses, they have Ohio State in a couple of weeks, you're going to have to be nice uh, balance between run and pass. Whole things have been really impressive.